Hurricane Katrina is on its way. It's going to make landfall sometime tonight or early morning. Once it hits, they say it's going to be the worst storm that, that's ever hit New Orleans. It's going to flood. We don't know how much of the city yet, but we do know it's going to be more damage than Camille and Betsy had ever done before. Pretty much everything east of here is underwater. They caught a sniper. Huh? What? They said they caught a sniper. Rescue, anybody here? Uh, I'm going to uh, the end of the convention center to evacuate. Uh, I've seen some dead animals floating in the water. Fire department, anybody home? When's the last time you found a deceased body? Uh, yesterday. Every day has been something different. <laughs> yesterday we were in the water, and that was uh, water to about our, just above our knees. Day before that, we were in boats with water up to our, just beyond our hips. We don't recommend they come back. Some last morning, when the night is over, I'll fly away in the morning journey to that land. Here we are on Lake Pontchartrain in New Orleans. As you can see, the waves are really kicking up there. The, the water level is starting to rise. Hurricane Katrina is on its way. The waves are wanting to pull me out into the bay and into the lake here. Pretty soon, all of this is going to be covered in water. It's going to make landfall sometime tonight or early morning. Once it hits, they say it's going to be the worst storm that, that's ever hit New Orleans. It's going to flood. We don't know how much of the city yet, but we do know it's going to be more damage than Camille and Betsy had ever done before. This whole area here that I'm now standing in is starting to flood. Within a couple hours, it's going to be completely flooded. They say the storm surge will be about 6 to 12 feet, maybe more. We don't know how far the water is going to come in, but it's going to be flooding in neighborhood after neighborhood. I hope you will you will uh, get out of the way of this one. It may be the strongest, worst um, storm ever. This is a storm that fulfills most of the conditions of the worst case scenario for New Orleans. From every model that everyone has put together, it is headed this way. Best advice, evacuate. Most people around here didn't bother to prepare. Certainly didn't bother to prepare for the length of time. So. I'm uh, George Stricker and I'm on Park Island and I provided food and water to a number of people who were stranded in second stories until they got out of here. We've had quite a few rescue teams come by. We've had the National Guard, Missouri Department of Wildlife and Fisheries, Los Angeles County Fire Department help them locate addresses and places because they're not familiar with the area. Uh, I've seen some dead animals floating in the water. It's just pretty much biological hazards. Just about every home uh, going up and down the street, I've only found one or two houses that were able to stay out of the water. Rescued a woman out of the second floor about a block from here. She was real dehydrated. She was 98 years old. Because of the nature of the things, we had to put her in a sling and airlift her to this bridge that you're, you just came across to get her out of here. And I've since been in touch with the family. She suffered a heart attack, had open heart surgery, and had a pacemaker. They said she was just hours from dying from dehydration, so that was a, it was a pretty traumatic experience. Pretty much everything east of here is underwater. Rescue, anybody here? Rob Hecox with California Task Force 3. What we're doing today is we're still in the, res the rescue mode. We're still looking for, for people that are alive. We go up and down, knock on every door, do a search. 
fire department, anybody home? Then we mark the building. We have a canine uh, with us. If our dog picks up any scent, we'll follow that scent. Uh, yesterday, we found someone. So each day actually gives us hope to, to continue on. Matter of fact, there's one right now they found. He's got some medical issues. They're treating him right now as we speak. The condition, they're usually uh, pretty sick, malnourished. They just haven't had the food and water. We don't recommend they come back. Periodically, uh, we do find uh, other things that we're not too uh, happy about. When's the last time you found a deceased body? Uh, yesterday. We take a grid here. We give them a section. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're looking at about a hundred people searching this one section, that one grid. Four square mile, maybe. So there's 20 to 25 people here. 20, 25 people here. Every day has been something different. Yesterday we were in the water, and that was uh, water to about our just above our knees. Day before that we were in boats with water up to our just beyond our hips. Day before that. We were on the other side of the dome. This is a neighborhood, and our, and our task force has been given that section. So each day has been a different neighborhood and a different uh, circumstance. And there's 28 task force across the country. Some black morning, when this life is over, I'll fly away in the morning cheering to that land. These four in the middle are not doing any good? No, uh, so we're trying to fix one problem at a time. Also, the governor came to the podium to speak uh, with a sense of urgency as well, saying that she had spoken to the folks there, and they are telling her that um, we can expect 15 to 20 feet of water in many areas of uh, New Orleans. She says, in her words, we are in danger, and there is no real relief in sight. Uh, she, in fact, is startled herself at how accurate all the predictions are for this storm uh, and is urging everyone to get out expeditiously. This morning they're taking people to uh, you fly anywhere you want. I'm trying to go to Atlanta. That's where my kid is. All right. He enrolled in school today. 
And just be careful with the medical supplies there. They caught a sniper. Huh? What? I said they caught a sniper. The mayor is also warning that if you are staying behind, uh, you need to take the necessary provisions, uh, even though it is a mandatory evacuation. We are not leaving here. This is family. Family does not leave family. Why do you have to cut off our power? Why did you cut off our gas? Why did you cut off our water? What did we do wrong outside of survive? This is wrong. Me and my wife went to the dome. They were more worried about people breaking into the Coke machines than they were the rapes in the bathroom. We are still Americans. Stand up for us just like you would stand up for your own people. I feel like a political prisoner. We'd probably be better off in Iraq.